What's going on guys, Farid here. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I make YouTube videos about my Toyota Supra, as you guys can see, and I have other videos, so go check those out if you guys want to. Um, but yeah, without further ado guys, as you guys can see from the title of the video, uh, we're just gonna be installing the rear diffuser for the Supra. I'm super excited because I, I, I wanted this part for a very long time, but I just never pulled the trigger on it. Um, and now I have it, I got the part for a good deal. And uh, shout out to Frankie, if you're watching this video, thanks for the uh, hookup and for the part. And I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get started, guys. As you guys can see, this is my Toyota Supra. I'm not gonna go too much into it, but if you guys wanna see more videos about it, make sure you guys go and check those out. I have a whole bunch of other videos about everything that I have done to it. So as you guys can see, she looks beautiful, but for those of you who don't don't mind this this is gonna be in another video but yeah this is, these are new wheels guys but yeah you guys are gonna have to wait for those but we're going to be installing this part right here so it's basically uh the rear diffuser i forgot from what company it was but yeah it's just this rear diffuser the guy that sold it to me uh he already kind of like built it like he he put these things on there it also comes with this hardware right here i don't know what i'm doing i don't know how to install this or anything so you guys are going to learn as as i i go and install this part so uh let's uh let's go ahead and try to figure this out So I don't know about you guys, but to put the Supra on a jack stand is probably the harder, the hardest car that I've ever done. Um, just because it has like those little things that you have to put in um, on the jacking points. BMWs have like these little adapters that you have to buy so that you can fit the the jacks underneath. Um, I don't know if they're really that necessary, but if you want to have your car up and if you want to go under your car um it, they're pretty necessary so that they won't you know fall off or something so those things go inside that little piece as you guys can see and they hold the cart pretty good so if any movement happens they won't fall but it's a pain in the ass that literally just took me like probably like 15 minutes trying to play with it bring it up and down up and down and yeah it's a pain in the ass but let's get to installing that part What we basically did is we put some tape right here in the middle. We basically just kind of like winged it and made sure that this was the middle. So right here is the middle. And then we measured this whole part and it's, it's 35 inches. So as you can see, it's 35 inches. And the middle of that is going to be 17 and a half. So we went ahead and we did that. Um, and I measured from here to here and that's basically the 35 inches so from there to there so if this part right here like this corner sticks out a little more than the other side then that means it wasn't as like precise but this is how you're going to start it um just put a little bit of tape and then just just mark the the half of it which is 17 and a half and then you can just align them too. all right guys so what I had to do is uh, take off these pieces um, just so I can measure it and then get the perfect half. So just go ahead and take these off and then you can put them back on and then just draw your line. So I have two lines. That one's unnecessary, but this one is a must because now what I can do is basically align it just like that, as you guys can see, just like that. And it's perfectly in the middle and then just make the holes. So what I'm gonna do is so that i can know exactly where to put the holes because the holes are gonna have to go in this plastic piece right here so to know exactly where to put those holes i'm going to put grease on there so that i can align align it like perfectly and then the grease would just go onto here and then that's where we'll be making our holes
So basically, as you guys can see, um, it left the two little grease marks right here. Um, so that's what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put grease right there where you feel like the holes should be. And then you make your mark right here. So it should be easier from going from there. All right guys, so once you have made your holes, um, you can go ahead and put some more grease on the top of the holes and then go ahead and wipe down that grease that you put right here. Um, that way you can know exactly where these holes are going to. So now what you're gonna do is, let me show you guys. Just going to align it again with the middle. So now you have the grease in there, you're gonna align it right there and then you're gonna go ahead and press on it. there you go so as you can see the grease was is on there now so this one this one is not too bad but I'm just gonna help, go ahead and make the holes like that all right guys so what i decided to do is i took off the diffuser at this point because um i'm not going to be able to put these things on the back of it because when you put the diffuser it basically blocks this whole middle piece for you so you can put your hand in so it's all the way to here so you can't even put your hand in here so you do have to take off the rear diffuser but i believe it should be pretty easy i just have to take this off and then take off these bottom clips and then i believe the top is just pop rivets so you could just pop them out the rear diffuser is off all it is is just the bottom has uh, some pop clips so there's two pop clips here and there's another two pop clips here. I did have to take off the rear spats to take off the pop clips. And then there's some screws here. There's four screws. So you just have to do that. And then the top, the top you just pop it off. Um, as you can see, the top just has like, like little things that go in there. So you just put, basically pop it off and it should come off. So now I'm just gonna align it again, bolt it down and make sure everything's tight. What we did is uh, we basically got the rear diffuser obviously we took it off and um we put the bolts in these two right here so these are your guidelines so you put those two first and then you have uh, somebody to help you hold it up and when you hold it up you're gonna use you're gonna use these 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 ones with the little black piece in the middle so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the black piece right here in the middle and you're gonna bolt it from the top and then you just put this and you will build it. Basically, you put the washer in there and then everything fits in there like perfectly. You can see over here. And then um, I'll show you guys the next step. But make sure you guys do that because if you guys don't put these black things, um, I've seen a lot of people, they don't put the black things on there and it's like curving and it looks kind of like deformed. So make sure it's perfectly straight. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Um, so yeah, you're gonna put these. These are the main ones, these two right here. And then you're gonna put these and then it's optional if you want to put these ones right here i just went ahead and do it did it we put a washer on this side and it's going to be these little self-tapping ones the smaller ones so you could put those there um that way it can be a little bit more stronger and then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and tighten these ones up and put their little washers on well not the washers but these little things on the back because this is how they stay on because with the wind they can definitely pop off. So you just wanna do that, and we should be good to put the uh, bumper back on. Now, um, yeah, like I said, you just put these little washers here, um, and then you tighten them, and you put them in the back too, just like that. Make sure you don't tighten them super, super tight because then um, they will go like inside the plastic, and then you're not gonna be able to, to take them out. As long as they're pretty tight, they should be good. It's like super tight in on there so before you put on the rear bumper uh make sure this side right here where you made the holes make sure you make these holes bigger just like that because when you put on the front bumper um you're gonna have to put i'll show you right now you're gonna have to put these holes that align to these ones in here so that it can be flush because if not this part is gonna be like all weird 
these holes as you can see those two right there um those have to align to that one so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make them bigger i'll show you guys right now all right so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put the bolts right here um these actually go onto the onto your your car and the bumper they don't go on this so you're gonna have to uh go from the back align them and then come back and then kind of screw them with your hand and then uh when you do so you're gonna get like one of these ones this is an eight millimeter and you're just gonna go ahead and do it like this so um yeah you barely have any room guys to like put one of these and like uh you know what i mean like tighten it and we we tried to use this too um but it didn't it didn't really work i mean it works but it takes forever so try to get one that has try to get an eight millimeter that has one of these that move and that way it can be easier for you to tighten everything's put together i went ahead and put the rear spats just a little t tip for you guys that, that haven't gotten any of these mods make sure you guys get this rear diffuser first before you get the rear spats just so that you don't have to take those back off because taking these off um i mean taking them off uh, with the double-sided tape was kind of hard and i i was you know uh, kind of scared i was scared that this was gonna like break on me or something because the double-sided tape is really really strong but as you guys can see it looks pretty clean i still have it up because i wanted to show you guys how everything is like done and everything so as you guys know i only i used so the four bolts that are here but i didn't use the actual push-in rivets that go in here so those two are the only hard is the only hardware that you're not going to be using but you're going to be using all the four screws here here and the two over there you're going to be using those again and make sure you guys get that tool but everything is like pretty strong guys as you guys can see um it's uh it's pretty yeah it's like not going anywhere honestly so All right, guys, so as you guys can see, this thing came out badass. It definitely makes the rear end look like super aggressive, as you guys can see right there. I'm gonna give you guys some cinematics, so stay until the end of the video to watch those. But, and then I'm also gonna give the car a wash because as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I mean, you could probably barely tell, but it's, uh, it's really dirty. And I'm gonna give the car a wash, get you guys those cinematics. But for now, just look at how nice this thing looks, guys. So yeah, make sure you guys for sure buy the rear diffuser before you guys buy the rear spats or at least install it before. Um, but as you guys can see, it looks pretty clean. All right, let's get those cinematics going. Sorry if it's uh, kind of windy um it's always like super windy now but um as you guys can see this is how it turned out let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i think it looks pretty badass it looks like really aggressive honestly and uh it just makes the car look like a little bit lower just a tiny bit lower as you can see from like the um as you can see from the from the side angle right here it looks pretty aggressive there was a comment on facebook that it looked like Thanos' chin and it does kind of look like Thanos' chin honestly it's like all poking out but honestly I, I like it it looks pretty badass as you guys can see i've been driving it around for the past couple days and it, it's staying on there pretty good guys so uh make sure you guys do everything correct and make sure you guys bolt everything on right but it should be on there correct it should be on there pretty good and then uh yeah guys that's how it looks just kind of just chilling there there's the side angle right here 
you guys can see on this side looks pretty badass so i'm sorry if it's a little bit windy again but thank you guys for watching um like comment and subscribe if you guys want to subscribe and uh yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.